Hello guys, my name is Michael and today we are going to talk only about CSS. I am not sure where exactly um, should I start, but before we proceed with our widgets and before we proceed with our CSS styling, uh, I want to show you something which I, I was noticing uh, yesterday. I went, uh, I mean, I, uh, I was um, reading a post of, on someone, of someone who um, had a problem. And the problem is that he was styling his uh, widgets and at some point he noticed that some styling were working and then he made some changes and later he tried to uh, to make those changes again and even if those changes was were uh, okay uh, the changes never took place so it was very interesting because uh, I'm talking about a CSS file which were was uh, like three thousand lines i don't know who makes a file like that one because you can uh, create more uh, files instead of one but anyway uh, when you create a big file and you are dealing with five six hundred widgets inside that file you know very well that there are a lot of stylings which uh, you can apply to only one widget and the problem was with this kind of things you remember these kinds of things click it active hover and focus well here's the problem let me show you something me took me a half an hour to find the problem because i wasn't sure what the heck but i found it and like i said after you have 3000 lines if you decide to make some changes then you suffer yourself because of those changes so let me show you something let us create a toggle button gtk widget toggle button okay now let's point it to our toggle button to the gtk toggle button new width label and i'll call it click me let me set in some margins g set uh, no not set object it's another story object set object set and the first one is our toggle button and we are going to apply the margin here and of course let's say 75 and we are going to inform the function that we are done with it and gtk container gtk container add gtk container window and our toggle button okay let me format this one right here okay let me compile it and run it before we proceed and as you can see here is our function uh, it's our uh, program and here's our button nothing special when i hover over it it becomes white if i click on it it becomes something like green anyway uh it works fine now let me show you something let me create a css file for this one so i'm going to create an empty file i'm going to name it uh, cs uh, no style CSS. I'm going to save it. Okay. And now let me show you something. Let me say button. Let me give it a color. Let's say a background color. Background color of our button. Let's say um, red. And of course a color which I'm going to set it to white. Now I will compile it on the program. And as you can see our button is red. No matter what I do, it stays red. Okay. 
Next thing, let me let me say button. Um, let's say focus. When we are focusing, it let's change the color from red to let's say uh, yellow, and the color we are going to put it red. Let me run the program. As you can see, the program works fine. Our button this time it is yellow, and its color is um, red. And this happens because we we have set it, uh, we we set its focus. Of course, when I move the window now, you see this is uh, the real uh, color of the button. But this button, being as you already know, uh, the only widget in these windows, it has focus. So that being said it is yellow and works fine okay now let's move to the next one button i want to show you something crazy very crazy which can happen if you don't pay attention uh, hover okay let us change the hover this time to something else let's say the color the background color are we going to set it this time to black crazy color but I like it and of course it's a uh, color let's say to magenta let's see now we are we are setting three things we are setting the color which is red we are setting the focus which is uh, yellow and of course we are setting the uh, hover which is um, which is um, black okay let's move on to the next one uh let's say button click it okay let's say uh when we click this button let me put some crazy color uh, green and change it to orange okay i will run the program now so it's not working i made a problem i have uh, click it button click it what's wrong here click it and it should work fine i mean click it back on council is green and its color it should be orange and it's not working hmm active okay uh, now watch now when uh, I move the window it is uh, red when I drop it becomes yellow because of the focus when I hover over it it became, becomes black and when I click it it becomes green because uh, this is the active one I'm I'm pressing and holding the mouse so at at this point stays green w once that I release it it changed to its uh, click it color it should be but we don't have it so why is not working the click it yeah because it check it sorry what did I I said check it sorry so the check it one we are going to say uh blue and its color let's say i don't know black whatever okay now let's see again anyway we have set the focus or better say let me go back we are setting the focus to yellow it is right here and next one we said uh the button after no no uh, that this is very important uh, let me put it back uh, we are set we are setting our button to red so when I move the window the button it is red because this is the car which we choose it and once that I release the window the button has now focus because it has focus being the only widget on this window it became to yellow now when I will hover over uh, the button it should be black and it is you see and after i'm hovering when i'm clicking on the button it will change to green 
so now I'm clicking and because I'm clicking and I hold it it stay green and once that I release it it's it should become blue and it is because we said to check it this is so basically works everything uh, as expected now let me show you something let me show you something uh, if you move the focus after just check after hover I'm going to compile the program now and run it let's see what happens we have let's go back here we still have our focus which is yellow when I move the window the button becomes red and as it should be and of course when I hover over the window it should be black whoa it is not where's the hover it disappear I mean everything looks fine if I click it's green if I release it's blue if I move the window uh, if, if I release the, the toggle uh, if I deactivate the toggle button it is back to yellow if I move the window it's red but where's the hover now well <laughs> you see this is the problem this is the problem with CSS there is an order which you need to understand it when you uh, do this uh, style is like hover focus and active let me show you something else now let me move the active one right here okay so I will compile and run the program again and now now we have something like this we have a button which is red we have an active button which is green this means when I click the button it is green nope it's not working you see there is no green it's dead I'm going to move the window it works fine so basically now our hover and our active is dead so be sure when you make these changes let me move the check it right here let me compile it and run it again now we said the check and should be blue this means when you click it whoa it's not working so we have no check it we have no active and we have no hover basically we have nothing we have only focus and the button itself so where are those colors gone what should I do well this is the thing which you need to do you need to set the focus after that you need to set the hover after you set the hover you need to set the active and af after you set the active then you need to set you set uh, the check it so basically we have focus we have over we have active and we have also check it this is the way how you should create your styles this is the order now having this order which is focus hover active and check we see that the button is hovering it's it is uh, focused because it is the only one i move the window it becomes uh, red because it it should be red we said here the button should be red once that i'm hovering after we set in the focus it goes to black now because we are hovering we are with the mouse pointer on our at, on our button i will going to click it and i'm going to hold the mouse and it becomes green because we said the button should be green when it it is in its active state and then when i release the button or the mouse because it is a toggle button it's check it uh, color should be blue and it is so basically it, it works fine so this is a thing which i want to talk to uh, after half an hour of checking that uh, css file like i said more than 3000 lines i was happy to find out where the problem was because i was noticing that the guy he was using focus over active and check it but it didn't work so me i was wondering why is not working 
uh, it worked too. I mean, I, I didn't pay attention. Then I saw the the priority how was uh, used. So in GTK, you have this priority. This means you cannot set something just by throwing them in your file. I mean, you cannot just put hover here because you need the hover and later decide that you need the focus because it will it was not work so this is the, the important video which i wanted to talk i wanted uh, very um, uh, it was very important for me to talk with you because uh, seeing this problem yesterday i was sure that you can get in this problem too and if you create a file which is more than 3000 line don't expect that it will be easy for you to debug it what did the guy did the guy did something like this uh, he had uh, with jet uh, one and then somewhere later he had with jet n okay so i don't know he had like 500 widgets and that's up some point he decided that widget one has uh, the active something like this or check it whatever and then later after we widget i don't know 100 he decide that for widget one it should be the hover and then later after i don't know which at 250 or something he decide again for widget one to put focus and then he was asking himself what the heck i mean i did made this thing before it was working fine and now it's something buggy here what's happened well this is the problem this this was what was happening the priority the way how you use these things here the way how you uh, you work with them so just remember focus you need uh, a widget has a focus a focus you can hover over that widget you can uh, uh, it, it's active modus uh, also um, use it and also of course uh, like uh, our button in our example our toggle button the check it state so basically these things are not working uh, if you choose a random one of them so just remember if you don't want to debug uh, 3000 uh, lines file about a problem where it is not obvious because you set everything at place but it's not working just think before you set these things here that there are some rules and there are some priorities and if you set the active just remember next time when you need hover don't put the hover after active put it before if you set the hover and then later you need the active do it don't put it before and so on this is very important if you remember these things you have no problem if you if you don't remember you have a problem but i'm sure once that you see this video you will basically uh, remember next time when you see that hover or active or something is not working you will remember because of this video where i'm showing you right now Okay, so that being said, I think we are done now. It is enough for today. And until next time, when we are going to start with a new widget, uh, and we are going to learn new things and new funny ways of uh, working with uh, this um, uh, library, and of course with the CSS styling, you can, um, let's say, uh, let's ta uh, take it like a homework, like try to see what happens if you do the same thing to another widget, not just a button. Maybe you want to see a scale button, a radio button, or I don't know, things we can, you can style them and see their state. Just play with them, see 
things which you discover for yourself after you find something uh, interesting just leave a comment and uh, we can talk about it or uh, another uh, way will be for some other ones which uh, they will read those comments after they see David this video and they will know uh, what the heck I think I had this problem and now I know why that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys